Okay, so um, if you wanted to go further uh, with your um, skills in uh, Python scripting, um, we have some additional resources we'd like to share with you that include both uh, the kind of um, learning resources as well as some upcoming learning events. Uh, there are some primers and books out there that are really great uh, and useful um, for going further. The first is the uh, Rhino Python Forum, which again is moderated by Steve Baer. And um, this is a uh, user forum where you can find a lot of uh, useful information on how to uh, continue uh, to use Python in Rhino. And this works, um, this is showing content from both um, Python just in Rhino as well as Python inside of Grasshopper. There's an associated primer that you can download from there, uh, written by Steve and um, Skylar Tibbetts of SJet on Python for Rhino 5. And we also recommend this book, um, uh, this O'Reilly book called Programming uh, Python, um, which is a more general resource for uh, Python programming. That will get you through all the syntax and um, kind of uh, nuances of Python as a language itself outside of the context of Rhino. There's also a group on the Grasshopper forum um, just for um, uh, questions and users that are using uh, Rhino Python inside of Grasshopper. And um, we also have a series of upcoming events that you might be interested in, both for coding in Python um, in Rhino, coding in Python in Grasshopper, and other uh, related events as well. Um, in uh, Next month, we're going to be offering a parametric design with Grasshopper uh, workshop at a 3D, 3D printing pop-up in Manhattan called 3Dia. And here's the URL if you want to check that out. Um, we're also conducting another um, series of webinars over the winter season, uh, the first of which is next Friday on Applied Data Trees in Grasshopper. So this would be a great one for you to take all the um, kind of conversations that we had today about data trees and how you can use them a bit further within the context of Grasshopper. So coupling your Python scripting in Grasshopper with a really robust knowledge of data trees in Grasshopper could really take you uh, very far. Um, we also have another set of uh, webinars after that, um, one on algorithmic design in Grasshopper, another on, which is a free webinar, uh, which is an introduction to processing. Uh, we're expanding the, um, the kind of approaches and softwares that we're offering our webinars for, and this one is going to be on processing. And uh, the week following, we're then going to have a follow-up on how to start working with dynamic behaviors in processing making things seem dynamic and interact with um, their environment and each other. And then the winter series concludes with an introduction to simulation um, with Kangaroo. So we're going to look at physics um, and uh, forces such as gravity and how we can simulate inside of Grasshopper using the add-on Kangaroo. And again, the URL here is at Mode Lab. And all of our previous webinars are um, captured as video and uploaded on our website. If you wanted to um, check out uh, any of them, um, you're um, able to go to the website and access the first few uh, videos to get a taste of what they like. And if you want to go further, um, there's a simple registration process to access the full content. And the last thing that uh, we'd like to say is just thank you so much for attending and spending part of your Friday with us. Um, you can connect with us on Facebook. Again, this is the best way to get the most up-to-date and relevant information and hopefully a way for you to connect with other um, uh, attendees within uh, the Mode Lab events at the uh, Facebook page, which is facebook.com backslash mode collective. You can sign up for our newsletter, uh, which is another way to get weekly updates um, as opposed to kind of daily updates. Uh, and we'd encourage you to, if you're interested in going further with more webinars or workshops, to um, like us on our Facebook page and um, sign up for our newsletter, um, which can be accessed either here or at the Mode Lab website. Um, so this is the process by which you sign up for the newsletter. Pretty simple. And lastly, um, uh, check back on Mode Lab for more um, uh, information related to our activities, uh, workshops, uh, upcoming events, and um, new learning content. 
And thank you so much for attending. Again, if you um, want to check out uh, some of those relevant links, um, you can do so on the following uh, web pages, which are here at the Facebook page, which is facebook.com backslash mode collective. Mode Lab, which you've all been to. Um, the current workshops and webinars that are upcoming, which is under current workshops and webinars. The previous webinars that we've captured and saved as videos online, which is found under learning videos. And just a sample of our previous workshops and our recent last lab. Those all can be found here under past workshops. 3dia open house. Uh, dot me is the URL for the pop-up that's happening uh, starting now through uh, the end of December, which would be really great if you could come and visit us and take uh, one of the courses. Um, ours is one of many that you can um, take to investigate 3D printing. And once again, thank you so much for attending. Uh, we'll leave the uh, webinar uh, live for a few more minutes to answer any last minute questions you might have. And um, otherwise, again, thank you so much for spending part of your Friday with you. We hope you enjoyed the webinar and had a little bit of fun as well.